Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to bring you a new SaaS tutorial on how to use one of my favorite applications lately called Live Reload. Live Reload is sort of like CodeKit in the fact that it can compile your coffee script, your SaaS, your compass, all that stuff. Um, but it can also reload the browser by attaching itself to any given tab that you have open. So um, there's also some really great other features such as serving a local uh, CSS file which we'll go over in a later tutorial when I'll show you how to use um, Live Reload with a interesting workflow. You can get Live Reload on the Apple App Store. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much it is. I think it's maybe like around 10 bucks or something. It's well worth the money, whatever it is. Um, and after you have it downloaded and installed, it doesn't pop open and come down in your dock like a normal application. It actually lives up here in your um, toolbar. And this is the logo. So if we click on this, it's going to open this window. It says Live Reload. And here is what folders we're watching. So we wanted to watch the SAS folder where our site's living. If we just click the minus button here, we can take and drag our SAS folder back in here. And here's the product project. Um, so as you can see here, it says compile SAS list, stylus, coffee script, and others. We're going to want to check that. And then in our options, it sort of sees where your style sheets live. This is, of course, where these files are currently living. Um, so if this file and this file exists, it's going to find them and sort of link them up because it knows what it's doing. So if you want to change these output paths, you're more than welcome to, and Live Reload will handle that for you. Uh, but pretty much you don't need to touch that unless you uh, want to. So it's going to say uh, you can do a couple things. You can put this script in your page before the body, or you can install the browser extension. I would recommend installing the browser extension. It's a really nice uh, extension. I'm going to grab the Chrome one right here. I'm just going to put it in so we can see this in action. I want to add this. OK, here's Live Reload. It's now in your Chrome. If we OK, so to get Live Reload connected to your page, you're going to have to click this icon right here. And what's going to do is enable Live Reload for this page. As you can see, there's a red dot in your page, and now there's a red dot up here in your toolbar. If you're having problems with this red dot showing up, I would recommend uh, closing Chrome and closing Live Reload and then restarting them. I've found typically after installing it or installing the extension, sometimes it doesn't always recognize it. So if you're having that problem, close both and reopen them. So as you can see now, uh, Live Reload is watching our project. If we click this little green dot here, it opens up a terminal-like window. So let's say we want to save one of our files. Let me just pull this up. Um, let's open up our style.scss. If I save this, let's go to our Live Reload. You can see that just like in terminal, it's going to say that it's found some uh, changes, and it's made the changes for us. So just in case you weren't sure if it's compiling or whatever, you can have it up here. Um, and that's, you know, that's totally cool. It works great. Here it says one browser connected, zero change or two changes detected. So let's actually make a change so we can see this live reloading happen in action. OK, so let's say we wanted to change this background to something else. We're just going to change it to blue just so you can see what's going on. If we type blue here and save, you'll see that I didn't even have to go back to our web page to see this background color has already changed. That's because this browser window is connected to Live Reload, and when I make this change, it automatically compiles my SAS uh, into our style.css background red, you can see here, and refreshes my browser for me. Um, this is all great features. This is really nice and handy, especially if you're working, lo working locally. Um, it really makes this stuff really nice and easy. You can have this window positioned over here and this window positioned over here in another monitor. You just keep typing and keep saving, and it's going to keep refreshing your browser. Uh, so, you know, really this, this function can save you a lot of time. It can save you a few keystrokes moving over to your other application and clicking refresh. Um, so I found Live Reload is really well worth the money. So that's how you use Live Reload to compile your SAS. It can even compile Compass, CoffeeScript, Stylus, um, and a few others, I think. So check out Live Reload. Um, you can go to their website. Actually, let's see what it is. Live Reload. Just LiveReload.com. And uh, you can see from there, it, it, you know, it's a really great application. Uh, works very well. So check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, you know, as always, leave a comment. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.